Hello, today we are going to create this amazing explosion effect. You probably have seen this in many cartoons, animations, or even movies. Let's do it in Scratch. Let's create a new project. I want to change the backdrop to black color so the white explosion looks more obvious. So just draw a rectangle and fill it with black color. Now we don't want this cat anymore. Let's delete the cat and we're going to draw a white cloud. So change the color to white and draw a circle first. Make sure the circle doesn't have outline. Next, we can select this tool and we just drag the edges of the circle and make sure that it looks more like a cloud, something we can use for explosion. Okay, and then we're going to select the whole cloud, make sure its center goes to the center of the sprite. Now we can start coding. Take a closer look at the explosion effect. Every time we click the mouse, the cloud gets bigger first before it breaks down to many pieces. So let's first do the getting bigger part. When green flag clicked, I don't want to see the clouds, so I'm going to hide the cloud. And our cloud is a bit big, so let's shrink its size. I'll set its size to 30%. And I'm going to have a forever loop. If mouse done, first I'll go to mouse pointer. Show, and I'll use a loop to increase its size. Repeat five times. Every time I'll change size by six. So let's try. It just gets bigger. Now let's look at how to break down the cloud to many smaller pieces. It's actually creating many smaller clones of the cloud. So let's make a block for this. We can call it explode. We need to click this run without screen refresh. When we want to explode, first we want to hide the original cloud and we are going to use a loop to create many smaller clones. Every time we want to create different number of clones, so let's pick a random number from 50 to 60. And each clone is much smaller than the original cloud. So set its size to pick another random number because we want all the clones to be of different size, 5 to 10%. All clones should point to different directions. So point in direction, Pick a random number from 0 to 360. And then I'm going to create a clone of myself. Okay. And we need to use the explode after we increase the size of the original cloud. Now, what should we do when we start as a clone? When I start as a clone, first I want to move away from the original cloud. So let's create a variable distance. I'm going to set a distance to be a random number between 50 to 60. I'm going to move away this number of steps. Then I'm going to show myself. After that, I'll move a lot slower. So I'm going to set distance to be a slower number. Set distance to distance minus 40. Now let's use a loop. Repeat until distance is less than three. We're going to set distance to be distance times 0 
move by distance steps. I will slowly reduce the size of the particles. Change size by minus 0 0.3. And we want the particles to turn a bit as well. So turn, pick a random number from minus 20 to 20. After doing all this, we're going to delete the clone. Now, now we need to remove this display of the distance. Go to variables and check. Now let's try. Very nice explosion effect. 